Hi, welcome to Love Testing, your Prometheus Remote by Transference. My name is Daniel. I'm a set reality engineer at Kisix.io, and on my free time, I help maintain Grafana Tempo. You can reach me on some places online, so if you want, please go ahead. So, Prometheus offers this remote byte API that lets you send samples from a Prometheus instance to some external backend. There are a lot of compatible backends. Uh, two of the most prominent ones are Cortex and Thanos. Also, it's interesting that Prometheus itself supports remote byte science 2.25. It's a experimental feature, but it's something very cool. So, some weeks ago, actually, this is why this talk exists, uh, I deployed Cortex in microservices mode on top of Kubernetes, and I did this for learning purposes. And the setup was great, and I thought that everything was running smoothly, but I had some questions. I wasn't sure if I had configured all the components properly, and I didn't know if I had provisioned enough resources in Kubernetes to handle some basic loads. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to generate some loads on this ingestion path um, to understand how Cortex will behave and how all the components will, will work. So I picked my favorite load testing tool for the job, and that tool is KISIX. KISIX is an open source tool written in Go that lets you create your tests as code in JavaScript. Even the configuration can be code, so you can cut everything on, on a repository, on a Git repository. I want to say as a disclaimer that I work for KISIX, for the company behind it, but I have to say that I'm here not because I'm a sponsor or something like that. It's just because I like the tool and I think that it's useful for some use cases. So I thought, okay, I can create a test in K6 using JavaScript for testing my remote write endpoint arm. That's it. But I'm a little lazy and I thought, <laughs> but I don't want to write that much JavaScript. So yeah, here it comes. Disclaimer, this stuff is experimental, but cool. Keep that in mind. Earlier this year, k 6 developers added support for k 6 extensions. And this means that you can write Go code, use your Go modules, and call that code from JavaScript from your test. So when I saw this, I went ahead and I created a bunch of extensions, and one of them was for remote write. So this extension is really basic, but we will see how to use it. And yeah, I hope you like it. So for using the extension, you have to create your own KISIX binary. This is very easy. You just have to download the XKISIX helper. And once you have that, you put the version of KISIX that you want to use as a base and put the name of the extension that you want to bundle onto this new binary. Once we have the binary, we can create our test. As you can see, I'm importing my remote write extension in JavaScript. Uh, I'm instantiating a new client pointing to my remote write backend. And once I have that, I can use the store now method. This method is used for sending a sample to this uh, remote write backend, um, some labels uh, with some value, right? And storing this, this sample. Also, I'm checking that the response for, from this request is 200 because I want to see if everything went right properly. I'm going to run this for 10 seconds and with 50 values. When I run this, uh, KISIX is going to give me a lot of information on how my test, my really basic test, performed. I get some basic metrics generated by KISIX, but also custom metrics that my extension generates, like remote request duration and remote write request total. So probably you are thinking, OK, Daniel, it's handy to get this summary, but I would like to see how these metrics perform over time to understand how my test behaves. And KISIX supports this. You can ship your metrics in real time to some backend and to charge them whatever you want. The thing is that Prometheus is not yet supported. So how does the future look like? For the remote write extension, I mean, it's tiny, it works, and it lets you model almost any scenario that you want. Uh, you can write your JavaScript code and model it as any other test. I would like to refactor it a bit to use the official remote write client, but yeah. On the other hand, about the exporter or the output to Prometheus, it's something that we don't have. Uh, there are ideas to add the support to Prometheus. There is like a related issue. If you want to have this on Toki 6 or you think that it's interesting, please go ahead, comment uh, what you would expect of this integration. Um, yeah, just give a like on the issue if you find it useful. 
On the other hand, I want to ask that this can be implemented as an exquisite output extension. Someone from community already added one for an influx DB version two. So maybe when this talk is released, we already have one for Prometheus. Who knows? Thank you a lot for, for coming to my presentation here at Procom, and I hope you have fun. Bye.